is basically called as the postgraduate program in full stack development and the technologies that you're going to be studying is the MERN stack M E R N M stands for MongoDB that's going to be the database E is going to be ExpressJS that is the web framework R is your ReactJS and N is your Node.js okay these are all the technologies that you're going to be studying but at the bottom line you need to keep in mind is all of this has been built using JavaScript as a programming language. Many a times when people start off this particular journey, the biggest mistake that they commit is they ignore JavaScript. Okay. They kind of skip JavaScript. They do not take JavaScript very seriously. They will directly go try to learn react. They will directly go learn Node.js. Now, because both of them are dependent on JavaScript, they will not go very far. Now, if you want to be a very good developer, okay, not somebody who does small projects, anybody, if you read an article on the internet, you can do a small project. But if you want to be a programmer in a company where when a company gives you requirements and you're able to complete all the tasks, the company is assigning to you, or you might have an idea of yourself and you want to build a software for yourself or for your community. So for doing all those things, you need to have a strong programming foundation. So what we do is in our program. So the first module, we have broken it down into different modules. Okay. There are five different modules that this entire program is broken down into. The first module is focused on strengthening your core programming skills. Now here we have people who have done a little bit of programming, not to an extent where they're able to do projects in companies, but little idea of programming is there. We also have people from EC, Triple E, mechanical engineering background, where they're very new to programming. So what happens is in module one, we focus on the core programming aspects, core JavaScript aspects and advanced JavaScript aspects and the concepts. Okay. These are the two things that we're going to be focusing on in module one helping you become better in programming or helping you understand programming in the first place and then helping you become better. And the next thing is in JavaScript, you will be learning the core concepts of JavaScript, which is a programming language as well as the advanced concepts of JavaScript programming language. There is something called as ES5, ES6 plus. So all those things you will be studying in the module one. So what happens is in module one, you will be solving around 150 plus programming assignments. So keep in mind in module one, you don't do projects. You will be solving programming assignments. Now these assignments are designed in such a way that anybody who's starting off, they're able to solve these assignments based on the lectures they would have learned in the course. Okay. So these assignments are based on the concepts that you study plus the assignments are going to be uh, focused from the interview standpoint as well. So what you will be doing is the most frequently asked interview questions will also be something that you will be learning and you will be solving. But you cannot go directly solve the interview questions because it's going to be a little harder. So we have to slowly increase the uh, strength that is the programming strength of us. Like what happens in a gym? Even though our objective is to either lose weight or build muscle, we cannot directly start lifting heavy weights, isn't it? Over a period of time, we can start lifting heavy weights. You have to first lift 5 kgs, then you lift 7.5 kgs, then 10 kgs, then 20 kgs. So slowly you have to increase the weights. Only then you'll be able to start building muscle. In the same way, just taking up program interview assignments and trying to solve them will not help you in any way. You'll end up just by hearting like the way you probably would have done during your college days. Right? So you have to learn it in a certain way and that certain way in module one, we would be covering. Okay. So this is going to be, especially if you're coming new to this particular program or if you're new to programming, this will lay a very solid foundation for you. Because if you have to build a very tall building, if this foundation is not strong, you cannot go second floor and third floor more than that. 
If your foundation is strong, you can build five floors or 10 floors, things like that. If you're somebody who has already done a little bit of programming, this will clear out many of your misconceptions. What we have seen is when somebody says that I know programming, but when we kind of go deep and identify their understanding of concepts is totally wrong. So for somebody who knows programming, you will have a better understanding of the concepts. Okay. So this module one is useful for every single person. Does this make sense? I want you to type MS, which says make sense. You understand what is module one all about. Okay, very nice. Good guys. So will module one help me land a job? Answer is no. Module one, just knowing JavaScript, nobody is going to give a job. If you just say that I know JavaScript or you will not be able to build any project if you just know JavaScript. Okay. Now this is the base. Then once we finish module one, then we will enter module two, which is front end development. That is the user interface part of our program.